if we can try and get the push for people to see, for people to feel yeah. what an A-rated house is like yeah. and the difference, the massive difference at getting from a D to an A. I'm here to meet my pal Claire Irwin who's a QS and a sustainability expert and we're going to discuss how making a home more sustainable can have a big impact and make huge savings in your pocket. All the talk now is about fuel poverty and energy efficiency and grants and I think this is not going away over the next, like, nor it should. No. I think it's great that people are now starting to focus on their, the energy efficiency of their home. A few years ago, people were more focused on, you know, the big kitchen, the big, you know, walk-in wardrobe, the ensuite. Now it's heat pump, yeah. triple glazed windows. Yeah. So things have transformed. My mum's talking to me about heat recovery. That's bad, isn't really? it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I suppose people are starting to realise the difference between um, an, an A-rated house and what's the average in the country? I think it's, is, is it a D? It's about a D1, yeah. Yeah, so that's, like, it's really weird to think that for a country that has cold enough winters, that our average house is, is a D1. Yeah. Um, and then, but all new houses are up in the A's. Yeah, exactly. And, and the difference is phenomenal. Yeah, just from a comfort level, like, feel this, you know, it's, it's just so much more healthy. And yeah. Well, you've got your air quality is good, your, your temperature is good, it's always ambient. If we can try and get the push uh, to kind of, for people to see, for people to feel yeah. what an A-rated house is like, yeah. and the difference, the massive difference at getting from a D to an A. So from a D1 to an, an A2, we're saving about 141% in our energy consumption wow. to run the house. But from an A1 to an A2, you're saving six to seven percent. And the reason for that is that you're generating your own electricity on the roof from your PV panels. There's loads of new stuff in a house that people who built a house 20 years ago, it's all alien to them. Like, so you start off, you've got a heat pump, right? The beauty of a heat pump is it's electric um, and it's you're not reliant on fossil fuels. Yeah, and like a heat pump's so much more energy efficient. You know, it's costing a lot less to run than oil, gas. Yeah. You know, if you start from the ground up, floor insulation, wall insulation. That's different to 20 years ago. Like, yeah. you, know, the, the, you know, a lot of houses that were built in Ireland have no floor insulation. Completely. And, and if they did, it was very minimal. And now you have to have about that much floor insulation. Yeah. And so by completely wrapping your house in insulation, so you've got your floors, your walls, your roof, uh, your attic space like that is like that's the basics of sustainability yeah it's actually whatever heat you generate it's not about generating it in the most efficient way it's actually about retaining it exactly and keeping it in yeah. and an a1 house is airtight yeah and that means there's no air leakage whatsoever completely the house is completely wrapped in an airtightness membrane if you're going to go all all out and airtight the house you um you need some kind of natural ventilation. But that then means that your air quality is good, so you don't have condensation in the air. Mm -hmm. You don't have moisture in the air. It's taking away, you know, like in a kitchen. It means you don't have to open windows because exactly. it, the air has been changed. And it's so much more healthy. Yeah. And actually, they're thinking of the future too. Like they they want uh, electric vehicle charging points outside their houses. Yeah, you mightn't buy an electric car right now, but maybe your next car or the one after that will be electric. So this house is pre-wired. You don't have the upheaval later. Yeah. So your electric car charge point's right there. And then you get your grant to install the box. Yes. The rising cost of living is putting everybody under pressure. So homes with sustainability at their core will serve you now and long into the future.